Hey cupcakes, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe. What y'all got going on? Let's do a little check-in. Yeah, how y'all been? How y'all doing? Y'all been doing good. <laughs> I'm getting so much weight, y'all. It's not even funny. I have to stop eating. I'll be eating too much. But I've been on my cleanse, so I've been doing pretty good. How y'all doing? I know. I haven't been on. But yeah. Let's see. The energy I'm feeling is really feeling pretty good. It's feeling like um light. Very much so light. A lot of communication. Of course, we're in that Gemini moon. Let's see what we got going on for you. Oh. Somebody could be feeling blocked, emotionally blocked. Maybe somebody's emotionally withdrawn. Maybe you're you're in no contact with somebody. Maybe somebody feel like they can't express themselves the way they want to. The water seems calm, but I don't know what y'all got going on. Something about a ripple. You see how it's um if you could see the ripples. Yeah, some type of vibrational um, energy shift. Yeah. Somebody could be really emotional. You know about this moon? This should be having people all over the damn place, child. The dark the dark um, side of the moon is like um, miscommunication, you know, just taking shit out of context, real aggressive, just, you know what I'm saying? Like... Some out of pocket type shit. Y'all could be getting into a lot of arguments. Um, people could just be saying some real outlandish shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody feel like they blocked, but it could just be the moon energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I told you. Somebody could just be saying some off the wall shit. Maybe somebody's just in their fucking feeling. Somebody could be pregnant. Okay, somebody could be studying something. Somebody could be studying your ass to see if they blocked you from some type of love offer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I told you. Maybe there's some harsh communication came in. Maybe somebody try to attack you. Look, maybe somebody try to verbally attack you and shit. And you had to buck up on their ass. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you had to expose somebody. Maybe somebody blurted something out. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Yeah. But you stood in your power. You stood in your strength. You stood on business. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to tell you. For real. Somebody could have been gossiping. Somebody could have been talking about somebody's child. You know? Somebody could be getting some information about a child. Maybe somebody had a fight. Maybe there was some, yeah, due to some type of jealousy. I hope ain't nobody getting jumped out here. Yeah, something could have been happening online. Yeah, it could be some type of court case. Maybe this is like child support court or something like that. Custody battle. Ooh, it's just too much. Maybe somebody want to be in contact with you. Maybe somebody needs your damn help now. Yeah, I told you. Somebody could be in some shit. Maybe somebody try to do some magic on you. Some like, um... I heard separation spell. But no, somebody could have did something to have you locked up. What's this back here? Yeah, due to some type of money or something. Yeah, somebody did something too fast. Yeah, somebody did some impulsive shit. I'm telling you, sometimes, yeah, look, somebody could have had a fight that caused somebody's life to go away from here. Star car, this could be a celebrity in the limelight being caught up. Yeah, car accident, all sorts of shit. Yeah, here come the message, but this could be anything. But could it could just be a lot of manipulation going on moon magic energy maybe something that somebody wanted for you is occurring at like occurring with them at this time i'm hearing that movie with remember ghosts with um whoopee and that dude so maybe somebody being haunted child maybe somebody being haunted yeah somebody let their ego cash a check okay <laughs> All right, yeah. Somebody let their ego do something out of some type of, you know, malice and fucked around and found out. What is this um two of swords? I cannot make this shit up. I'm trying to tell you. 
Somebody could have tried to block you from get, receiving something. And now they fucked up or wherever they are. They got a lot of struggles. I mean everything. Their whole life is fucked up. I heard Coochie messed up. Juan messed up. Ass messed up. Everything messed up. So somebody could just physically be going through something. This could just be you cutting off a whole lot of people and releasing a whole lot of shit. Yeah, you could be juggling money, finances, or whoever this may be um, external to you. This could definitely be a water sign, fire sign dynamic. Yeah, somebody could just be in their fucking feelings because of some action they fucking took to cause their own damn self a burden, trying to fuck with you and only end the day ass. Now they have to pick up every, it's like pick up all, pick up the pieces. That's what I heard. <laughs> So maybe somebody have to pick up all these pieces that they threw down. I'm going to put it down. You're going to pick it up. Maybe somebody was trying to send you a whole bunch of fucking conflict and you blocked all that shit, transmuted it, and it just, it wasn't even a return to sender. It was, bitch, stay where it's at. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, people be doing stuff and don't know they be doing it to their fucking self. Yeah. Message. What's this two of swords with the um ten of wands? For the collective, Holy Spirit activate. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to some type of money, or this could be a King of Pentacles, somebody could be suffering, somebody could be hella triggered, you know. Maybe somebody trying to manifest you, maybe you trying to manifest the opportunity, maybe you trying to, um, you know, build your finances and somebody's making it hard doing some type of magic, you know, or this is whoever this was, boss figure or husband material or provider, whatever. Maybe this was somebody with the whole child support for me to say that this could even be like a divorce where somebody's making it hard, you know, for you to receive anything. They want everything. They want to burden you. They will. They want the house. They want this. They want that. And everything that they want for you is happening to them. So somebody could just be stressed out about a business. Maybe they're being blocked. Maybe their money's being blocked, their finances, because he looked mad bitter. Look at his face. He got a smug on his face like, man, I got this one last fucking pentacle. I got this fucking staff trying to be vindictive and fucked around and broke my own damn heart. Okay? Maybe they were doing something to block somebody from dating. Maybe, remember I said blocking because we saw the Ace of Cups. So maybe somebody was trying to block somebody's love life. Thinking that somebody was going to come back to them. Feeling like, oh, they're not going to be able to meet anybody new and just double back. Bitch, I know you're fucking lying. And now they sitting over here looking like this. Sad. Mm -hmm. Now they blocked. They burdened. They mentally frustrated. Heartbroken. Sad. Bitter. Upset. Triggered. Okay. It's like I got all this money and can't do motherfucking nothing with it. Or I just had this one pentacle left now because I was trying to ruin somebody else. Too worried about their fucking back, backyard to be worrying about my own, you know what I'm saying, garden and shit. Yeah, it looked like some weeds is growing over and shit. Yeah, somebody ain't been taking care of themselves, taking care of their health. Because remember I said, look, yeah. Death card. Somebody ain't been taking care of themselves. It's look like somebody just been sitting and wallowing and shit. Mad, upset. Somebody could really be going through something. Look at it. It's like this person on sat in the bush and let the weeds grow all over them. Yeah, somebody is definitely wallowing. Somebody could be depressed. Yeah, look. Because something could have ended. Maybe their status, their leadership role. Somebody could have passed. Maybe somebody got demoted. Maybe somebody's physically unwell. They can't perform like they used to. Somebody could have possibly be going to jail. Okay. Yeah. Due to some type of death. Ending. Yeah. This could be a whole court case. I'm trying to tell you. So somebody could have been fucking with somebody love life and they turned into their own shit. Wow. Whoever this King of Pentacles is stressed out for real, for real. And I don't feel like somebody saw that they were just blocking their own self. 
with the two of swords here because the two of swords is like being in two minds undecisive at a crossroads you know blocking keeping yourself stuck don't want to surrender this person might have kept doing something over and over and like i said pick up the pieces so all that shit that they was putting down for you to trap you off you probably was just jumping over leaping over you know i'm seeing a whole bunch of rays like a bank heist you know how the bank put security up and this whoever this person was it's like they put up so many obstacles for you to get sliced and diced or destroyed or altered or halted or stopped or you know what i'm saying i heard sunken place so it's like somebody wanted you to feel like you were it was constant upheaval 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 blockages blockages bound indecisiveness indecision when it comes to receiving any fucking thing yeah especially love they wanted you to feel like I have no choice but to go back to whoever. You know what I'm saying? Or stay by yourself. Be invested because this is a single mom. Single, I heard single white female. Okay. You know, they wanted you to move away from some type of successful outcome or believing that you can have this. And only ran right into a fucking ditch themselves. And it's, it's to the point where it's like all that money you got now, that shit can't help you do a motherfucking thing. That's what I heard. All that money now can't help you do nothing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, somebody might have thought they were going to reconcile with you, but they were playing some, playing, manipulating some shit in the ethers before they go within and work on their fucking self, work on their own happiness. Now they was working on trying to have you left out, you know, deceived. I heard baffled. Somebody wanted you to be left out, wanted you to feel like it's such hard work. I constantly fee feeling defeated in some sense. But in secret, they was doing this. They could have been consulting or look, with the Six of Pentacles paying somebody across the motherfucking world. Look, that's the truth. To have you in some type of limbo or constantly looping in some type of regret or, you know... Just feeling outcasted in a sense. I feel like somebody wanted you to feel like you were always going to be deceived in relationships, works, or any type of relation, or, excuse me, any type of partnership. Yeah, this, 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 um, King of Pentacles, boss figure. This could even have been a boss who tried to block you from, um, moving forward. They made it hard. Um, you know how they could have, um, references and stuff like that where they could have possibly gave you a bad reference and it's coming back on them now and it's like they know exactly why they're getting the karma because they did something to you and i'm a firm believer people don't know that you can't just be out here doing any old fuck shit to chosen because the minute you lie on them and do something you might have an instant gratification in some sense to your knowledge or feeling like you won but baby, let me tell you that 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 turnaround ain't gonna be so nice. Yeah, it's like somebody would not fucking stop, man. They would not stop until the same burden they want for you landed right on their fucking front door. Now they sitting here like confirmation. Oh, did I tell you at the time? Confirmation. It's 12-22, and it's July 7th, 2024. So y'all could be seeing 222. You know, something could be in full alignment, 246 type energy. This could be a divine masculine, divine feminine. Somebody could have blocked somebody from coming in to invest in you, whether this is a business, a relationship, just a friendship just anything family member this could be a husband ex-husband ex-wife trying to do this yeah and they watching to see if something was working and it, it, it didn't work out what's this two of swords yeah they blocked you from getting some type of offer they caused some type of confusion some type of chaos maybe they knew you had multiple options and they could have been out here fucking lying to people 
especially if it was a job. This person, you could have had a lot of job offers and you use this person as a reference and you could just could not understand why you ain't get a call back or this family member, whoever this was. And the whole time they were telling people not to fucking hire you. You weren't a good, fit, you know, although they're not supposed to say those things, but this person has a way with their words and they could have influenced whoever this was to um not hire you. Mm hmm. Yep. Make a different choice altogether. That's fucked up. What's this ten of swords? This could even be somebody running a come come. What's this ten of wands? Why well, I said ten of swords? Yeah, look, I told you, this could be even somebody wanting to come back to have a new start. I was just about to say it and the shit failed. Yeah, this could be somebody wanting to come back, but they can't. They possibly want to apologize, whether family, friend, or for whoever this could be. You know, somebody you might somebody or you could have somebody could have sent you some type of invitation and you blocked it. And this is how they sitting here looking like, damn. Maybe you ain't even get the message. Maybe spirit blocked it for you, you know? Because they ain't want you to fucking go because you probably would have went. What's this Ten of Wands for the collective? Ten of Wands for the collective, Mofa. Yeah, I told you. Can't show them they naked, child. Mm -hmm. Block some type of communication, some type of love, caused a burden towards this new beginning for you. They could have told a love or something. And yeah, this could be a motherfucker wanting to come back now. To, they want to offer you to date you or something. And just like all the fucking drama and heartache you don't cause me, bitch, you could never. Look, that's the truth. All the drama and heartache you don't cause me, you could never, bitch, ever, ever, ever. Remember Cardi B? We got beef. We got beef for forever. <laughs> Somebody might want to take you out for drinks. You know what I'm saying? But they could be hiding something. Yeah. A message could be hidden with the... I saw the um, page of one. So a message could be being hidden. Spirit could have hid that. Somebody could be really trying to manifest a brand new start with you. Very optimistic. Very hopeful. But Spirit was like, nope. Not today, motherfucker. Not today. You hear me? But yeah. What the hell? I thought that was something on my ceiling. An ant. These fucking ants be tearing my ass up in here, child. Let me tell you. Anywho, that's neither here nor there. Something about a cardinal. You guys could be seeing cardinals. I saw one um yesterday morning. Um, I saw a big ass blue jay the other day. You know, something about 4404. Also, something about a white stretch limo. I was hearing this little girl say, she said, she was telling her camp counselor, my grandpa usually come and pick me up, but he's not going to come today. And the camp counselor was like, why? Well, what do you mean? What happened? He, she said he just died. The camp counselor was like, what happened now? <laughs> Startled, puzzled, like taken aback. And she was like something about a long table. So I don't know if you guys are, um, I don't know what, it's just a big long table. You know how you have a wedding and they have a long square table, but the only thing, this table was just long. It's giving me that energy of, um, remember jumping the broom and the lady, the auntie was dancing and singing and stuff. And they were all sitting at the table talking hash shit. It's giving that energy. Um, something about paperwork, but somebody's this little girl, maybe this was you from a small child who said that, you know, you knew your grandfather died when he died. And, um, you know, you saw it and you were at camp or at some place, or maybe your child is going to tell you this, my condolences. Um, yeah, so put it where it fit. Something about a big, long, white stretch limo. It looked like a Cadillac. It could have been even like those new um, space cars, but it's a white stretch, long body limo. A woman is driving it, and she has on a green shirt. Also, somebody's name, Aaron, double Aaron. I don't know if this is an arrow, a double target. Maybe somebody tried to target you twice. Um, also something about somebody's name could be Khadijah, um, something about Giselle, 
I was seeing Giselle from um, Potomac. Maybe some of y'all from Maryland. Um, maybe y'all are reality stars. Maybe this is some star with the Five of Pentacles here. This could be a celebrity who could have uh, blocked the opportunity for you. Because you know how they do on, um, you know, like um, Americans Got Talent. Or, or even if this is a singing show or whatever. If somebody else wants you, they'll make sure you don't excel or get to the next level or even be a contestant because they want you. So they'll be like, dead, dead. You know what I'm saying? And then they'll come in and offer you an opportunity. Yeah. They, so they don't want you to progress far because they possibly want to offer you something. So this could even have been a celebrity who saw you, was intrigued, wanted to work with you. Um could have possibly seen that you know you had a lover maybe could have paid a lover off to leave you or some shit like that it gets tricky out here so this could be you know a reality star going through this maybe they saw you loved you and used their power to overstep and you know but then again if you look at it this way there could be somebody coming in to offer to date you maybe somebody want to invest maybe somebody want to marry you Maybe somebody want to give you a solid commitment now, you know, you don't, this could be somebody completely new. And maybe this, uh, there's a past person who burdens you so bad to the point where you kind of shunned off yourself from love or even trying to possibly go in that route. And then here come this person who want to invest big body, big body bends I heard. So maybe somebody is coming in with this type of energy. Maybe you going through some type of loss for me to say the whole thing with the little girl. You know, maybe this is some type of round table. Maybe this was a wedding or some type of gathering. This could even be like a repast or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So put it where it fit. Also, I was seeing um a dirty ass building. When I tell you this fucking building was filthy. I don't know if somebody, if y'all need to clean up, if y'all need to declutter or... Just clear your mind. Maybe I need to do a full body cleanse. Y'all know I've been cleansing. Okay. Maybe I need to do a full body cleanse. Maybe some of y'all just got some emotional stuck trauma somewhere. Because you know when certain parts hurt you, that's emotional trauma stuck in those parts. So maybe I need to work that out. Work it out, baby. Work it out. Maybe some of y'all have um, trauma when it comes to finances or feeling abandoned maybe you have trust issues or you know you still holding on to past hurts let that shit go look past hurts some of y'all could have been single for a long ass time and rejecting good fucking people that come towards y'all now because you feel like people are all the same but it's because you keep holding on to the past person and how they did you maybe you were an overgiver and how you gave so much and then they walked away but if you're learning and growing and you're excelling and evolving you should be able to decipher like okay i'm just doing too much now um maybe you did take a step back and you're looking at things now but you still maybe spirit wants you to get back out there be more involved start dating start socializing and you're like oh god but the people only want me for my money or maybe this is somebody who feel like this you know but keep in mind never know some of y'all could just be still holding on to some past hurt you keep keeping yourself blocked off and burdened when you need to just release this and invest in more love get more grounded get more grounded and rooted start creating creating out of love start dating for love instead of material possibly some of y'all could have been dating motherfuckers just i heard sugar daddy Ooh, bitch i ain't never had a sugar daddy because i didn't want to give up no sugar so <laughs> i was i couldn't be nobody sugar nothing <laughs> okay i'm trying to tell you look somebody could be at a distance waiting to offer you something you could this could you be planning to move away you could be waiting for some type of monetary gain. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you could be waiting for some money. Maybe you're waiting for something to close out and then you're fucking gone. You know, just patiently waiting. Maybe your spirit team is helping bringing this into fruition. You know? I don't know who this King of Pentacles is, but we about to find out. Who is this King of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? Somebody want to come invest, invest. Somebody want to work with y'all, collective. Whoa. 
the Empress to the King of Pentacles. This could just be some type of status upgrade with the Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, you could be having somebody, baby, bitch. A Leo. Where you gonna meet somebody who is like childlike, innocent, fun, refreshing. Maybe you getting a new start. Somebody might want to propose. Oh my God. Yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles right here. Somebody might want to propose. OMG. The Empress with the Eight of Pentacles. You have mastered something. You have healed your inner child. You know the Empress is, is self-care, self-love. Creation, birth. Abundance. Yeah, whatever you create in somebody is is hella intrigued. Somebody is in love with your ass. The Knight of Cups with the Page of Cups. Yeah, somebody want to invite you somewhere. Somebody, 6.16 on the clock. Somebody might all want to invite you. Like, propose. Engage. And this is probably stressing this person out. Maybe you could have denied their invitation. Maybe you could have denied their invitation. And this is burdening this person. Because they might want to express themselves because we did see the judgment. But maybe you're like, no, bitch, because you wasn't acting right in the past or you wasn't acting right before. I remember all those fuck shit you done did to block me and cause me some type of fucking havoc. Mountains and molehills I heard. Now you want to come in and invest. Maybe this person had a lot on their plate as well, you know? Maybe they had, they were going through some things. Maybe they had to pick themselves up. Maybe this person was depressed. Maybe somebody wasn't emotionally available because we did see the two of swords with the, the, um, maybe this person was blocking out love. They wasn't ready to settle down. They wasn't ready to love, but now they are. And it's stressing them out because maybe they feel like they're blocked from you. You might not want to have anything to do with this person. Damn. So somebody definitely want to come in, child. Nurture a connection, invest, provide, protect. Possibly work on a baby. Work on a marriage. Work on some type of commitment. Yeah. You are somebody's strength. Yeah, you probably help somebody restore their energy. Yeah, look, somebody want to communicate something to you quick, fast, and in a hurry. Somebody could be coming towards you to work something out. This could even be a job offer. Told you, look, some type of communication. Maybe somebody want to come. Maybe this is some type of um, legality, some money. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, this could be a new leadership position. Or maybe somebody want to make something right because they made you miss out on an opportunity in the past. Who that? What's wrong with you? Don't give me no attitude. Everybody got an attitude. But yeah, this could be you getting some type of new leadership position because somebody else could have passed, you know? Somebody could be having some type of psychotic break. Maybe somebody's sick and in the hospital. And you're going to have to juggle a lot. Or maybe somebody's trying to make a choice on whether to bring you something. Somebody might be up all night, can't sleep, restless. Okay, because they don't know how to get a new start with you. They don't know what action to take. They don't know how to move forward. They don't know how to take control of something. And this is a leader. This is a boss right here. Maybe somebody can't manifest you to save their life. And they don't, they don't know what to do. Somebody love how you take care of yourself, though. 
This could definitely be some type of invitation, some type of message. Something about wing foot. Let me see this shit here, child. Yeah, something about wing foot. Somebody could be coming from far to across waters. I heard Arizona, Texas. But yeah, what does this have to do with my collective? Ooh. Yeah, somebody realizing that they fucked up. Somebody regret this shit. Somebody regret treating you the way they did. They could have had you in some type of third party situation. You could have a child with this person. This could be a baby daddy. What's on the bottom? Yeah, somebody regret not giving to you. Now they want to provide for you like, uh, bitch, I can provide for myself. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm good. And you're like, no, I don't want no fucking parts. Mm -mm. Stay where you are. You could be blocking some type of connection from coming through. And this shit could be causing havoc for whoever this is. Somebody could be hella stressed out. They just don't know how to get through to you. You could be energetically blocking this person too. Maybe they can't tap in. Maybe you guys were telepathically connected and you cut that shit off. <laughs> they could have seen something, heard something, and they're very disappointed. Disappointed in themselves because you was the empress the whole time. But I guess maybe they were too busy chasing money or control. You know them king of pentacles. They love to be the boss, but it pays to, you know, look tower yeah you're gonna get some shock shocking communication maybe somebody want to take you out on a date i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you i heard somebody definitely want to double back yeah i told you somebody definitely want to double back somebody want to heal something this could be somebody who sees you um elevating Somebody could be trying to manifest you, but you keep rejecting the magic. <laughs> like, didn't I tell you? I told you, though. They just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. What's going to be the outcome for this person? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're getting some type of spiritual ass whooping. God is kicking their ass. Let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah, I told you. Spiritually getting whooped in the astral astral plane. This person could be astral projecting. They could be getting dog wired by your spirit team. Yep. Yeah, somebody for either taking from you, taking your kindness for weakness, overstepping, giving to other people, taking from you to give to other people. There could be a whole lot of fighting in some type of congregation right now or some type of legal battle. There's a whole lot of hiccup in a, a foundation. These could be spiritualists fighting. This could be a whole cult, a church, an organization, a group, a community of people going ham. Yeah, these people are spiritually convicted. They could be getting um, what they call it. Confirmation. They could be getting um stripped of their rights, their position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you. Whatever they're working on, anything they're working on is dead now. They possibly need some type of healing. <clears throat> But they was trying to see if this is happening to you. But they definitely getting some type of spiritual ass whooping. Yeah, this could have been a group of motherfuckers too. Trying to send you some type of spiritual attack. Psychic attacks. But it ain't working. Oh, God could be blocking this. You might know how to transmute energy. K 
chaos magic. Five and five here. That's ten. Yeah. Somebody could be this there could be a spiritualist being judged, yeah. Due to some type of cycle or trying to loop you up in some things or trying to have you in some energy. Yeah. Somebody's being blocked or judged in a sense. This could be a whole court court battle. I'm trying to tell you. Custody battle. All right, close out. Let's die. I'm not going to make this shit long. Close out. Yeah. It came in the upright. Somebody cannot emotionally walk away from you. This could be a Sagittarius. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody cannot walk away from you. They cannot gain their balance. They can't do something. Yeah, this could be a whole group of people. Patiently waiting for you to be judged. But how can you be judged if you're telling the truth? How can you be judged if you're on the right path? How can you be judged if all you do is move with love? Yeah, they praying on your downfall. Stressed out, waiting for you to be stressed out. Yeah, but no, you receiving. Some of them could might all want to apologize because they can't get their foot in. God is dog walking them in the spirit. Your ancestors, your spirit team. Yeah, they learning some harsh ass lessons right about now on how to fucking leave people to fuck alone. These people ain't want to walk away and now possibly that they want to walk away, they can't. You could be playing on their mental, spirit could be haunting them, they could be fighting a whole lot of demons and shit, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, okay? These could be motherfuckers talking about they was God this and God that and God like, bitch, I don't know you. <laughs> I do not know you. Okay, God done turn they back. Like, I don't know you. I do not know you. Yeah, could be your spirit team kicking these people ass. I told you. Kicking these people ass. Let's close out. Close out, close out, close out. Fully close out. I send back all your energy. Good call back minds. Yeah. These motherfuckers. Lying, man. They lying about their status, their stability. These people are broke, all because of a lie. They could have lied on you, I told you. Whoever tried to stop whatever it is that you had going on, especially if you was doing spiritual work. Whoever tried to block you from love, work, relationships, partnerships, success, evolving, they're being fucking judged. Yeah, and you healing. And they over there praying. They praying. Because all that energy work, baby. You transmuted it. <laughs> Look, all that energy work. And remember I said in the beginning, it was nothing to be returned. That shit never left wherever the fuck it was from. I told you people be doing stuff to themselves And don't even realize it. And swear you over there doing something to them. And you be like, bitch. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I'm about to watch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. I'm over here just chilling. But, yeah, these people can't watch you no more. They can't no longer stalk you. It's like... They over there lying. They possibly, you know, stalking. Just, they, 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 they don't know what to do. They cannot walk away. They cannot stop lying. It's like they getting caught up for all this shit now. Yeah, you could have cut somebody off. I'm trying to tell you. Somebody could have been trying to do energy work on you, but that last moon changed something. You transmuted something. Yeah. You transmuted something. You blocked somebody. You emotionally withdrew. You cut your emotions out of something. You cut somebody off like... You're emotionally detached, withdrew. Yeah, and somebody is mad. Like, somebody can't feel your energy no more. You know what I'm saying? Somebody can't feel your energy. They can't see you. They can't study. They don't know where you've been, how you're doing, how you're living. It's like, where are you? Somebody could be looking for you and they can't find you. Yeah, look, somebody stood up, stuck. Yeah. A lot of illusions. 
But anyway, I'm out collective. Y'all have a great day. I'm about to go relax my soul. It's Friday. Yeah, y'all gonna receive something. I don't know if this is a new title, some money, a little small check coming in. Maybe somebody want to take you out for dinner. Maybe somebody going to message you. This could be you guys. You could be tarot card readers. You know what I'm saying? You could just be possibly getting grounded. Y'all could be planting. Yeah. Doing protection work. Or you could have did this and all that shit that they was planning. It was, you know, I heard pick up the pieces. They should have stopped. They should have fell back. They should have held on to their money because what, what was that? The four of pentacles to the six of pentacles. Somebody is um, losing out. Somebody could be facing homelessness or poverty stricken or, yeah, in secret. They could be secretly going through this and nobody don't know. Yeah, they hiding it. This could be a tarot card reader who's hiding this. They could be begging for money. They could be the one begging for money and they see that you're happy and they realize all that shit they did on did, all that work and they don't sent your ass. With this dark motherfucker, it did not work. You still, look at you, still moving swiftly. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. They can't strip nothing from you. Yep. They realizing you still happy. You secretly happy. Look, and you still getting that ace. They could feel like you hiding some type of love interest too. Hiding that opportunity. You over there happy, abundant, emotionally stable. Planting your seeds, growing your seeds, looking at all your shit harvest. And they just confused, like, what the fuck is going on? How could I not have stopped this person? I'm telling you. You could be past people sitting there delayed like a motherfucker. Working overtime. And watching, studying. And you just chilling. <laughs> okay? You just chilling. Look at them. Some of them could be in jail, going to jail, facing jail time. They could have been out here scamming. Told you, facing jail time. They could have been scamming. Yep. Lying to people, lying to the courts, making false statements. Not everybody fucking sad and crying because you getting karmic justice and an opportunity of a lifetime. And they just over here stressed. Look at them. Stressed. Like all this shit I did all this time and nothing worked. Yeah. Nothing worked. This empress is not stuck. This empress is not bitter. This empress is not jealous. They still receiving. Or emperor. So put it where it fit. You feel like home to somebody. Yeah. But you have to set boundaries with this person. Because they weren't truthful. They weren't honest. Yeah. They were trying to do some underhanded shit. To trigger something in you. This was like a plan. And now that you... You know, got a clean slate. Not everybody want to return. No. Yeah, look. This is what you're coming into. Some type of security, stability, some type of big money energy. Yeah, look. Whole new beginning. I'm going to leave it there, collective. Don't let these motherfuckers play with you, especially these past bitches. They need to find something to do. Maybe somebody might want to message you. Yeah. Intuitively, you know this, though. You're hella intuitive. And they know that. Hella intuitive. They could have caused you a lot of strife too in the past. And you picked up all them fucking wands and built you a fucking cabin. Not everybody's sick. But I'm out collective. I will talk to y'all lady. Y'all have a great day. Make somebody's heart smile. Toodles big up on herself. Okay, like, share, and subscribe. Member said share, share, share to get me back in the algorithm. Okay, I love y'all. Toodles.